last application for a figure eight is going to be using a figure eight to join two ropes. We've talked about a figure eight stopper, we've talked about a figure eight follow through, we've talked about a figure eight on a bite. Now we're going to talk about a figure eight bend, if you will, joining two ropes using a figure eight. Now I will add that this is not my favorite method for joining two ropes, but if you can just remember one knot, we said it might be the figure eight, you can use this to effectively join two ropes in a very secure manner. So let's talk about that. So what we're going to do is grab another piece of rope. If you're practicing this on your couch, you can just use the other end of your rope. But I'm grabbing a separate rope because I think it'll help you to see the difference between each side of the rope because these will be different colors. So we'll use yellow on one side and red on the other. We already talked about this when we tied a figure eight follow through. We're going to do essentially the same thing. We're going to try, tie a figure eight, leaving some kind of a tail for security. In this case, you know, say six to eight inches. We're going to take our other rope and we're simply going to follow it through. But notice as I follow it through, I'm following it through by coming in the same direction that the tail of this side is coming out. So I'm following it through like this. Now you need to give yourself lots of rope. If I start tying the knot now, I'm going to run out of tail. So pull a generous amount through and start following it. Everywhere it goes, you go. Everywhere it goes, you go. I know you get the point, but I don't want you to get bored and forget to keep following it through. So where does it go? Wherever it goes, I'm going to go. And you don't stop till it's coming out on the other side. I'm going to try to dress it, see if we can make it pretty, and we end up with a figure eight bend. This is also referred to sometimes as a Flemish bend. Now the good news, it's very secure. It's a figure eight bend used to tie two ropes together. The bad news is it tends to be kind of bulky and it uses a lot of rope. So the truth is, most rescue persons and most climbers do not use this for joining two ropes. Bulky, excessive, but very secure. This is the first knot that I've taught that could potentially be tied incorrectly. And when I say incorrectly, I don't mean a minor uh, violation of knotology, but I mean a dangerous knot. And the dangerous knot is something sometimes referred to as a variation of the Euro death knot and you never want to tie a figure eight bend like this. So I'm going to hold these two ropes together and pretend that I'm tying a figure eight on a bite and I'm going to do this. And you end up with these two little antennas that are sticking out on the same end. Okay, this can capsize or roll and actually come undone when it's put under tension. So this, with the little antenna sticking up, is a death knot. So if you're watching this in another country and you don't understand what I'm talking about, don't do this. No, bad knot.